Hey guys, what is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. I got Danica, Thrifty Stew with me. We are going to Valley Village. We're gonna go thrifting today. We've never gone thrifting together. I think it's gonna be like a Urban Goddess versus Thrifty Stew thrift off. Can we say that? Yeah. Yes, we're going with it. All right, let's go see what we can find. All right, let's get going. First section that I'm gonna check out is over in the boot section. This is definitely a fall winter item and that's what I want to prioritize. I also was hoping to find some cool cowboy boots because I was in Calgary Cowtown. Lots of good stuff, but nothing really that I'm looking for right now. Lots of moto boots, but not the brands that I was looking for. I think those were spring. I found a couple Aldo, maybe even a pair of Steve Madden's, but they were pretty beat up. So let's keep going. We're going to check out the other shoes. Oh, hey, Danica. If this fits me, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Does it? I don't know. It looks a little small. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was absolutely in love with this quilted leather jacket. It is an Eddie Bauer one, which is totally something I would grab, but for $50, I just couldn't do it. Very unique though. I also spotted this wool Western vest. I love this style. I've grabbed one similar to this and they always sell pretty quickly. Going in the cart today. This is Danica's cart. Danica, this is mine. Can you tell that I don't thrift in Calgary often? I was just so excited to be thrifting in different thrift stores with different demographic than my local one. Affliction, oh my gosh, Tiger King, that reminds me of Tiger King. Yeah, I was just so excited to see different things and brands and styles that I don't normally see locally. I think I got a little bit carried away, but this Brooks and Dunn shirt, this is a classic, a little bit of pit staining, which is why I left it. I also saw this bedspread, which is just gorgeous. I cannot buy any more bedspreads, and for $20, I left it. Kind of regretting it, probably should have grabbed it, but the stack does not need any more blankets. And then I'm also going to check out my favorite section, which is the mug section. Looking for that Starbucks Aztec mug. No bones today, but lots of really cute ones. Oh my gosh, Diego. And when I check the bottom, it's 2007. That is like my oldest daughter. She watched Dora the Explorer. That was her era. It's so cute to see those. This store was pretty big. I don't think it was the biggest value village I've been in, but it was still a very big one. And then this floral bag, I loved it. I wish I would have grabbed it. I left it there. I'm sorry to, to burst the bubble, guys, but I didn't grab that one. Big regrets. Okay, it's time to go over the items that we're not going to take home. I left a lot of stuff here. First is this Anthropology quilted coat. I actually had Danica try it on for sizing and we both agreed it just didn't look right. I also found these Madewell jeans for $10. Not bad pricing. I did not like the bottom. The bottom was kind of like a weird cut raw hem and that feathering, that like whiskering. I'm not really liking that whiskering either anymore. So I'm going to leave those. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it looks like Danica is checking comps in the background as well. <laughs> Next is this Clio tan colored vest. We really debated what the material content was on it, but could not find a tag anywhere on it. If I would have found a tag that confirmed it was wool, I think I would have grabbed it. But because I was unsure, I'm just going to leave it. I also am leaving this Brooks windbreaker jacket. Danica and, had, and I had such a good laugh on it. We both swear that we owned one of these when we were in high school. Just a classic 90s windbreaker. You really can't go wrong with those. I also found this Stetson button-down shirt. They were asking $18.50, and when I searched the comps on them, they actually weren't that great where I felt like the profit margin was enough. If I was picking this top up for a couple bucks, even $5, I think I would have taken a gamble. But for almost $20, i am going to leave it. I hope some cowboy finds this because it's a fine looking shirt. Next is this Sunday Best khaki kind of jacket. I, I like to call these like utility jackets. They're like army jackets. 
I think I have an Aritzia one still sitting in my closet that hasn't sold yet for that reason because I know this isn't a trending style as much anymore. I'm just going to leave it and it was also an extra small which is a pretty small size. Eddie Bauer, one of my favorite bread and butter brands. Uh, I feel like if this would have been a better price, I probably would have grabbed it, but for $24, I'm going to leave it there. I also wasn't 100% sold on the color, so maybe if it was a different colorway, I would have grabbed it, but today, not getting that one. Also found a Mountain Hardware jacket. These jackets are kind of sneaky brand. They hold value. I feel like this one probably would have held decent value, but a lot of the seams, it almost seemed like the waterproofing was changing color i'm gonna leave it for today if they would have been marked at a better price i probably would have grabbed it and then also this eddie bauer white kind of safari jacket i was gonna grab it for myself and i thought okay tab you're not gonna wear a white jacket anywhere who are you kidding very cool jacket but i'm gonna leave it behind for today I also found this quilted floral jacket. I thought it was really neat. I think it is, um, what the heck? I think it is Northern Reflections. It's also reversible, so black on one side, floral on the other, but they were asking $23 for it, which I felt like was a little bit overpriced. Oh, here we go, I'm looking for that tag. There's that Northern Reflections. And it's not a vintage, it's a pretty modern style, but I think it's more the price that I'm gonna leave it for today. Uh, I also found a vintage mountain equipment co-op jacket. This one was a bit overpriced and I just didn't want to take a gamble on a vintage jacket. Good, good quality, cool color colorway, but just not what I was looking for. And then lastly are these free people jeans. Again, another raw hem, but like a really weird raw hem. And it almost had like that whiskering as well which I'm not a huge fan of right now. If these would have been wide leg, straight leg, flare leg, just not grabbing skinny jeans anymore. All right, guys, that's it. Let's take what we have and go pay for items. <laughs> Hey guys what is up i am at home now and it was like really chaotic when we were there it was super busy i was only in calgary for 24 hours and originally i was supposed to fly out at 7 30 at night and we ended up the flights were kind of filling up and i was on standby so we ended up switching my flight to the two o'clock flight which kind of like cut down on the time that we had to go thrifting it was kind of sad, but I also really needed to get home because we were heading on vacation the next day and we were gonna be gone for nine days. So I had to get home, get packed up, get ready for our holidays. But I still found some really great pieces and I'm super excited to go over this thrift haul with you guys. All right, let's just jump right into it. So we went to a value village on the day I arrived and then the second day we went to the winds bins and then we went to i think a goodwill that was close and then we also went to a style encore but in the style encore while we were shopping that's when we made the decision that we had to switch my flights and we literally just like i think i bought one thing and we had to get the heck out of dodge like we needed to get back get myself packed up and drop me off at the airport what i found in the first two thrift stores we went to are some great pieces, fall items, things I'm excited about, a couple items for myself, a couple for my kids, and a couple to sell. First up is a pair of Levi's wedgie jeans. I love the, the color of these. They're definitely like a dark wash, which I don't find very often. Very fall vibe, very like kind of Southwestern, I think. And uh, they're in a size 29. So I love finding Levi's, especially wedgie jeans. Great find. Next up is this ski bum shirt. So it's for Deer Valley, which is a ski hill in Calgary. And the back has a dog sitting on it. We love collecting shirts for ski hills. Just always looking for different ones. It doesn't even have to be a ski hill that I've been to. As long as it's like ski or snowboard related, we're buying them and I'm wearing them throughout uh, throughout this throughout the year really I just I just love cool ski stuff and 
this is so cute. I love the color of it. I think I'm going to have to beat my kids off at the laundry so that they don't steal it from me. Next up is another item that's kind of ski related. This is a Banff Canada shirt. It's actually brand new. Like it still has the size dot on it. I grabbed this for Emika. She doesn't normally wear a lot of peach color, but I knew because of the Banff that she would probably wear it. I asked her and she was like, yes, of course. So this is an item for one of my kids. Next up, I scored two shackets. Neither of them are actually a brand name, but the style is there. The style, the color. I think I'm going to keep this one for myself. So it's a cream colored brown plaid. The brand is BC Clothing, which I think it's the Costco brand. I think this is the, the Costco shacket, but I really love the color of it. Very fall, great to layer with a hoodie. So this one I'm keeping for myself. And then I also grabbed this one and this doesn't have a brand anywhere in it, which makes me kind of wonder if it's like Shein or something, but it's a cream colored shacket again. It definitely reminds me of the Ghana from Aritzia. I think I was going to sell this, but I, I think I'm actually gonna keep this one. It's in a size large, another great piece just to layer with. And I don't think I'll be able to bring myself to buy a Ghana jacket for $200. So if I can get a knockoff one that looks pretty similar, I should probably just take it, to be honest, just take it for myself. Next up is a pair of Babaton wool herringbone pants. It is an older style and I could tell by the tag, but uh, they're wool. They're definitely like kind of a trouser type pant with a taper leg. I've sold quite a few of these in the last few months for over like $75. Uh, I felt like it was a pretty safe investment, very fall, winter-ish. Next up, this one I had grabbed at Goodwill. Actually, Danica found it and then she passed on it. It's a Lululemon uh, kind of like poncho shawl type sweater, I guess. Uh, she didn't really like the style of it, but I thought I would take a chance on it just because I don't find a lot of Lululemon stuff and it was priced at $9. So I felt like I'd be able to at least double or triple my investment for this one. So now I just have to find a stock photo for this because I don't think it's going to photograph very well. This is the one item I ended up grabbing from that style Encore and it's a free people sweater. I just love the style of it. So it's kind of like floral, boho, super fuzzy. I love the tone of it. Very fall, maroon, burgundy color. It is 57% acrylic, 18% nylon, 13% wool, and 12% alpaca. And you can really feel the alpaca in it. It's like the softest knit material. Anything with wool or alpaca, I would be grabbing. Great piece, super excited. The only one I've, I walked out with because we were in a hurry. Down to the last few items of this one. I grabbed this at Value Village and the brand is Cactus. I've sold a couple items of this brand. They have really cool Western wear and it's a wool vest. I love, look at it. I love this. I don't even know what this is called. This, this style, it's very Western to me, but yeah, I don't think it's like, it's not a yoke. What the heck is this? There's like a term for this when this points are, are on items, but yeah, I really like this. I love Southwestern pieces and wool. Like you can't, can't go wrong. That's a great layering piece. And then the last item I found, which I thought was so cool is this Aztec wool knit purse. It's like a satchel crossbody bag. <laughs> I don't even, that was bad. I'm like trying to pull the keywords out. Uh, it has a genuine leather strap. I'm just gonna show you guys. It's almost like a belt one. I feel like this is definitely a handcrafted item. You guys can't even see this, but like this material is so thick and it's like the thickest wool knit it almost reminds me of like horse blankets like the blankets that they put under a saddle very much that's what this reminds me of i don't know if you know the keywords or any terms that i should be putting into it let me know this is the inside has a little bit of a pocket to it but yeah it's just such a cool piece 
and really, really good quality. And I would say handcrafted. So for $4.50, this was going in the cart. All right, that is it. I think those are all the items that I had grabbed. It's hard to say because I think I maybe had one or two other items and my kids have already taken them out of the bag and I can't for the life of me remember what they were. And then the other thing, one more thing, this wasn't something I thrifted, but Danica sent it home with me is some material. I'm always collecting kind of floral, boho type material. And I have some sewing projects that I wanna work on this winter. So yeah, she sent this home with me and uh, always so grateful for her picking up items for me. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. What did you think of my Calgary excursion? What did you think of the thrifting? Um, I had so much fun. I'm so grateful and so thankful for Danica um, for hooking me up and getting those good flights and hosting me for 24 hours because we just had a blast together. What are your favorite pieces? Is there anything in here that you're like, Tab, you need to like list that at this price or use these keywords? Let me know. Some of these I'm like, you know, grasping at straws because I'm not familiar with them. But yeah, I, I love everything that I found and I love thrifting in other cities. So if you're ever traveling, here's my advice. Make time to stop. Even if you only have time for like a 25 minute stop, make time to stop. Stop at other thrift stores in cities or areas of the city that you don't normally thrift in or small towns that you're driving through because you never know what you're going to find. And I love the styles of different towns and different cities and different demographics because you always find the most unique and quirky um pieces I, I like i don't even want to say quirky but just like unique pieces okay guys i've been blabbing enough i'm gonna let you guys go i am wishing you all many sales and i will see you next time bye many times i know i would change my ways